It's time for another What's on the Bench and let's have a look at what's on the bench this week. I've got this computer here because I'm doing the diversity controller schematics and board layout, some changes to that. The usual clutter of transmitters and my little plastic boxes with all components in it and the usual stuff, nothing much has changed up here from last time. Uh, down here doing a few calculations um, and here is the interesting stuff now I'm actually developing a little video buffer uh, you can see in here this is a breadboard this is quite a valuable piece of equipment because it enables you to prototype stuff up pretty quickly with your electronics and get a, de a design sort of finalized then you can move on to making a circuit board for it and as you can see I'm using the oscilloscope over here to display what's going in and the uh, that's the yellow trace and the blue trace is what's coming out and at the moment it's just noise because over here I've got the diversity controller hooked up but there's no signal coming in because I'm using the FPV backpack here which I've unplugged because I've been testing it but I'll plug it back in and we'll see if we can make stuff happen it's a bit hard with one hand I have to say let's try it anyway oh man Need to grow another hand. Okay, that's plugged in and working. And now, as you can see, we've got an image from the from the backpack. Woo look at that, eh? Uh, that's basically, if we look at the screen here, we can see we've got the, the yellow is what's going in, the blue is what's coming out. Got a bit of an earth loop there, that's the matter. I just wanted to make sure that the amplitude levels were okay, there was no clipping. And this little board is just buffering the video signal from the diversity controller. Because I noticed when I was doing some testing on the diversity controller that if I loaded up the output too much stuff, I had a DVR and some goggles and an LCD, it actually, the level dropped so much that it, you'd actually get dropout on some of the some of the video signals. So I thought, ah, I don't want that because people probably want to load these things up with heaps of stuff. So what I've done is I've designed this little video buffer. There'll be several of them on the board. So you can plug in all your different video gear to your diversity controller and you won't have to worry about overloading it by drawing too much video signal. So that's what all this stuff here is for. There's not a lot to it, but there'll be, I'll probably put three buffer stages on there. And when you build it, you can either include them or you can leave them out, depending on whether you think you want them. But they're so cheap, all these little bits, so cheap. So anyway, you know, a few cents worth of components. So why wouldn't you put them on? That means I'll just have to make a little change to that board layout to, to fit them onto this board here, rather than on a separate board. And then we're all good to go. So that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the day, getting that sorted before I finally commit those boards to print and also here I've got one of these RC305 receivers what I've done here is I've just added the little wire for the RSSI signal that's the strength of the received signal and I'll be using this in the videos to show you where to solder stuff on so that you can then use these receivers with the diversity controller if you want to use them you know these are the standard RC305 I think oh, 20 bucks or something if you don't want to build your own receiver so you can either use that or you can use this which is the one that I've designed and I build and I use all the time and they work really well with a built-in uh, circularly polarized antenna on the top so there you go that's what's on the bench today nothing much else just all that other stuff i've shown you before and um, yeah no nah, good look around see not a lot to see here and but that's another on the bench more coming soon